Hi guys, I'm Anita and I'm back with another video. Today I want to do something new and hopefully fun on my channel. I have thought about for so long to try and see if I can't put more TBR unwrappings into my general over the year and still work on my TBR unwrappings I have over here. So my thoughts with this was to find three random numbers and read whatever books that corresponds to in this unwrapping and try and vlog it over a couple of weeks and then that way get through some books but also still able to work on those over there and I thought this was the sort of thing that I could try out and see how that goes. I don't know how it's going to go and I am worried a little bit about how big the books are going to be because with randomizing I have some really really chunky books here. So I haven't filmed my TBR for the month yet because of this, because I don't know how big the books are going to get. If they're like three um, average book sizes, I might just still do the bookopoly and do like the normal six. Um, and if it's like big books, then I might um, lower the amounts of rolls for the bookopoly um, just to still do it and do the random ness of it and try and see if I can get in a TV unwrapping over here as well as some Kindle books and stuff. Um, so I have found an app for my, on my phone to pick some r random numbers and I have just counted how many um, TV unwrappings I have over here, or TV books I have wrapped and there are 149 so it's about time I get started on this and uh, we'll see what the first number is going to be. Number 55, so I'm going to find number 55. <laughs> this is number 55, and um, it's a most anticipated, and it's journal normal paperback size, so it could be an easy read. I don't know what it is. It's probably not fantasy though. Let's do another number. Number 145. Okay. This is actually that one. It is a very, very tiny hardback. I think I know what it is. A random number again. 137. So these are the three books and one of them is definitely chunky and intimidating because I think I know what it is. But let's unwrap them and figure out what I have to read for the next coming week. This is, I think I can see what it is, um, it's an anti most anticipated. I would think that wasn't fantasy but if it is that one, it is fantasy. I think it's my copy of... Um, uh, Princess Bride and it is oh, that's really really exciting I've always wanted to read that one um, so this is cool I'm really excited about this this one I think I got this as a gift from um, a subscriber of mine it is a hot copy I think it's a poetry collection actually I don't remember what it's called but I feel like that's it yeah and it's called Unicorn, the Poetry of Angela Carter. I haven't read much poetry and I don't know how it's going to go, but at least it's going to be a quick read. So that's good. Because this one is the chunky one, it's science fiction. And I'm pretty sure it's Red Mars by Kim Stanley Robinson. It's not the author. Oh, red mask? Yeah. Yes. And that was this, this one. Um, this one is 700 pages, so I don't know how long this is going to take me. Um, I don't know if there's an audio that can help me. Maybe I can listen to an audio. That will definitely make this a bit easier process. Let's look at Story Cell. Um, I know they have some steam. I know they have Kim Stanley Robinson, so I'll just search for Red Mars. Yes! Ah. They have an audio of the book and it is 23 hours long, so 
I would be reading this in audio and read the physical books of the others and that way I can still do a regular, normal Bookopoly without spoiling what I'm doing. So I think I can do that. This is exciting. Next clip will be me starting on the books. Um, so, yeah. No. Hello friends, it is the May the 1st, which means that I'm starting with my reading of my TBR unwrappings. I decided to start out with them this month just to, um, yeah, get through this video. I thought it was a good thing because it started with the weekend and I can get a, quite a good chunk into this. My first pick will be um, The Princess Bride by William Goldman because I hear really great things about um, yeah, because it's the full-length novel. Uh, the other one is a poetry collection. I'll wait with that until I finish this. Oh my god, my arm. <laughs> Yesterday I spent some time figuring out how much I had to read a day in order to read it. On weekend days I put myself down for 100 pages because I know I can do that on a weekend day. And uh, then on the remaining days, to, in order to read all of the things that I want to do, I have, I have 70 pages. So if Ever I have extra time to read something, I could always read a little bit ahead and not feel too much pressure. And other days I will read 100 pages on a uh, normal day as well. And so, yeah, it depends a lot on how my reading goes over the next coming week. But as I said, mentioned, this was uh, my most anticipated wrapping paper this was in. So I'm really looking forward to reading it. I hear almost nothing but great things about the, this book by people who've read it. And if they... Uh, read this and watched the movie both I watched the movie first and read it or the other way They're all really eager about it because the movie and the book is very very similar because William Goldman also wrote the script for the movie so Yeah, so if I enjoy this I'm definitely going to try and see if I can't find um, the movie somewhere to see watch it um, so I'll be starting out with this one and work my way through it and I put myself down, as I said, for 100 pages today. So, and exciting things. I um, Denmark has started opening up again, but it comes with um, a sort of more difficult way of um, going. Uh, you have to have a negative Corona test for that is less than 72 hours long in order to do a lot of stuff, like going to a cafe or um, going to the hairdresser to get your hair fixed. Or whatever um, but I also found out that you have to do that in order to go visit the library <laughs> I found that out last weekend and I wasn't able to go to the library um, but I just got my uh, results back test results back from yesterday when I went and had a PCR test and it was negative so now I can go and visit the library today it's only open for two hours but I have really been looking forward to going to the library so I definitely want to do that and I don't know how I'm going to fit anything in of my reading, but I hope that I can renew it and then use it for like June reading or something like that. We'll see. It also, because the things that I'll pick up is probably a lot of graphic works like manga. Um, and I do, I usually am able to read from that uh, from time to time uh, in the evenings before bed or something like that. Um, so yeah, this was everything I had for this update. I will talk to you later. And, um, yeah. Hello friends, I'm now back from the library and I thought I wanted to share with you what I ended up picking up. Um, because I picked up a lot of graphics works stuff. Um, because I'm close to finishing this series, it started being a combined thing. So I got Full Metal Alchemist volume 19 to 21. I already read volume 19 and I so I th uh, if I remember correctly, volume 20 is my next one, and then I have two other volumes like this afterwards, and then I'm done with the series, it's so weird. Then I also got the next volume of the Fruits Basket, that's volume 11, so I can read that. I only picked out one physical book for the for this, and that was um, Duft Up Ticket, the second book in that series. I, I already had it out, but I didn't manage to get around to it. So now I have it again. We'll see if I manage to get around to it this time. I hope I'm able to renew it because I don't think it would be this month. So yeah, but maybe I can read the graphic stuff and be okay. Um, we have graphic novels two places, in the kids department and in the young adult department. So yeah, and th these were all picked up there. Uh, first one is Escape the Man. 
um, by Kenneth Anderson. I already had this out before, and I'd forgotten that I was supposed to read this before I read uh, Lucy Giada, which I read for Dewey's. Um, so I'm definitely interested in reading this again um, because they are really creepy. These books, uh, both Timbus Fugit uh, and um, Lucy Giada were really creepy, and I think this one will be as well. And then I looked at what I had, and then I saw that there was a Daredevil comic, and I really enjoyed the the TV show Daredevil. And I don't know uh, if there are um, different. Um, Serious in the Daredevil universe. Um, this is just called uh, Daredevil, Daredevil Redemption Valley, um, and this is volume one. I will read it and see what it's like. Um, also, so he, they also had the Punisher, but I'm not a big fan of the Punisher. Yet. I mean, I haven't watched the TV show exactly, but he was in Daredevil season two. Um, and then there were other things as well. It was also Avengers stuff, and there were. Loki and a lot of X-Men stuff and then I saw the Deadpool <laughs> and I decided to go with it. Uh, this said it's because it said the complete collection and I looked inside it and I thought it said that it was volume one but it's not this is volume three so we'll see if I can figure out what's going on. Um, but you know I have read I have watched both movies so maybe it's fine. Uh, I'll try and see if I can read it without having read the other two, the, the, the other two volumes first <laughs> and see how it goes. Um, so yeah, that's what I picked out from the library today. Hopefully I will enjoy all of it and um, I will probably pick some of it up for some light reading before bed over the next coming weeks. So yeah, this was everything. See you later. Bye! Hello friends, it is now Wednesday evening, so it's been a couple of days since I last checked in and I sort of wanted to check in with a reading update. My main reasons for not checking in before now is that I have had an issue with the books. I, especially like one of them, I've really not felt like picking it up. It's put me in such a slump and I'm currently forced reading and I hate that. Um, but it just felt like I couldn't make this video without reading the books, so... I feel like I have to read them and also have a sort of deadline because I also have some other obligations that I have to read um, this month so I can't just ignore them but the book that I'm talking about is The Princess Bride by William Goldman I'm really bored I really don't like it there's so many things about it I just don't care about I don't think the humor fits very well um, I mean I definitely usually have I don't mind humorous books. I mean, I love Ter Pratchett. I love that. So, and that's definitely humor. And there's a lot of humor in a lot of the books that I do pick up sometimes. But this just doesn't seem to work for me. Um, it's very surface level, and I don't. I, I sort of miss something. I don't know what it is, but I just. I don't. I, I. I don't care about the story. I don't care about Princess Buttercup. I don't care about Fizzle or the man in black or uh, who is Wesley or I don't have much care for any of them but I am two-thirds of the way into it, into it I think I'm um, on page 273 72 out of 400 so that's where I'm I have about 130 pages left in order for me to feel like I get anywhere I picked up unicorn by Angela Le Carter and this is also one I'm not I'm not loving it but that's mainly because I don't usually read poetry poetry is not something I am very good at understanding and very good at comprehending and there were if I understand them correctly I don't think I liked some of the poems I've just been reading um, but I the section that I just finished were better so and I have just finished uh, the second section and now I'm getting into like they call it the Japanese snapshots which I don't know what it entails but they seem to be a little bit shorter I'm 43 pages in so it definitely goes quick I've only been reading for like 10 minutes in the morning here and there and just 10 minutes now um, so yeah it's fine I have also been making progress in Red Mars I am enjoying that one 
I'm in so interested in this story, but I, I have a hard time talking about what's going on. But I am halfway into it. So, and I hear like the last third is incredible. I'm actually a little over halfway. I will check in again once I have hopefully finished something and I can start wrapping up this video vlog and hopefully I can start in on some more fun books. Um, the thing is I have completely forgotten when I made my TBR for the month that I had said yes to an arc by Ellen McRae who is formerly uh, known as Ellen McNeil. She wrote the World of Linaria books and she just is releasing her next first book in a new series um, under her new pen name on the 28th of May. So I really should get a review up before publication date. And so that has been pushed into my reading instead of like Percy Jackson, but I am hoping to add it by the beginning of next week because it's important for me to have finished it. I don't know how long it is, it doesn't say, but I figure because it's high fantasy, it's probably around five or six hundred pages, that's my estimation. Um, and I don't know what it's about. So I'm really eager to get started and I have it already ready on my Kindle so I can start reading it whenever. Um, but I need to finish these three books and I need to uh, also actually I want to f start and finish uh, Rug Addiction, the romance. So I hope to do that over the weekend and then next week I will start on um, I The Iron Crown by L. L. McRae. So yeah, this is my update for now. I will talk to you soon. See ya. Hello friends. It is Monday, the next week. And I just wanted to check in with a reading update of this attempt at trying to read some TBR unwrappings. And I have finished two books. And I'm close to finishing the third. So I'm actually close to f being able to wrap this video up. Uh, I finished The Princess Bride by William Goldman and I said last time that I was angry reading it and I that was the case until the end of this I really struggled with this um, there are moments that I liked and I see why people would like it I think but I was just bored I, I really just didn't get into this, not at all. So I ended up giving this two out of five stars. And the, the, it's definitely also, I wanted to love this. I had it in my most anticipated. I thought I would really enjoy it because it, sh it should be what I usually enjoy, but apparently not this time around. I also finished Unicorn by uh, the poetry of Angela Carter with an essay by Rosemary Hill and this is like it had a couple of poetries <laughs> by Angela Carter and I'm not good with poetry in the first place um, but also I think I mean I like the title poem I guess and I there was one about some cats I like that one but otherwise none of them really grabbed me and then there was an essay about all of the things that Angela Carter did, like in terms of her writing and how she influenced um, others. And just because I didn't know about Angela Carter, I have never heard of her before. Um, I, I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be someone famous. It's a classic poetry collection kind of thing. Um, I just didn't understand and I didn't connect to the the essays element. I thought it was interesting, but I just didn't really care about it because I didn't know Angela Carter at all. And um, so I ended up giving this book three out of five stars. It was better than the other, but, but I still didn't love it very much. So that was that one. Now, yesterday I spent a lot of time in my garden, which is also why my arm <laughs> is red because I I had forgotten there's something called like sunscreen so um, I didn't think about that when I was in the garden but I was there for like 
the better part of four hours. I didn't listen to audio all the time that I was out there, but the majority. So I got through a lot of this <laughs> of Red Mars and I am very close to finishing it. I listened to a little bit today, but I've only listened to like five minutes. So I figure I'm like three to four pages later, further on or something, five pages further on or something like that. Um, but it's definitely uh, coming to a close now. I can definitely feel the tension. A lot of stuff has happened uh, over the past couple of um, chapters. But yeah, I'm really, I'm actually super enjoying it. And um, we'll give you a final thought about it once I finish it, probably tomorrow. Um, so yeah, this is my update for now. I will talk to you later. Hello friends, it is now Thursday and I finished the last and final book for this vlog so I thought I wanted to um, share my thoughts with you and end the vlog. Um, it's been such a weird reading experience um, but I finished Red Mars. I still have the bookmark in it because I didn't remove it. Um, that's the thing with audios. <laughs> um, but I finished Red Mars and it is my favorite read of this batch. However, it's not like a favorite or anything. I think it was a little bit too long. Um, and while at some points I really enjoyed the characters, then I, there was something happening and I feel like the characters just changed to like two-dimensional type characters instead of like having some layers and stuff. And it went into sort of a drama that I didn't think it would go and I didn't really care for it. And um, what I really enjoyed about it was like the atmosphere, the setting and the description of how things were working on Mars and the nature elements to it, how harsh it could be sometimes and the descriptions of the political stuff that happens when you're trying to colonize a new place and who takes the charge and who decides on what and stuff. Those elements worked really well over the whole book and I was it's ended up on a bit of a cliffhanger. The last couple of chapters were really, really amazing and intense and I'm really looking forward to possibly reading in the next one. I'm, I haven't completely decided it but the ending was so interesting that it left me wanting to possibly try the next one and see if I will enjoy that. Um, so I definitely haven't said no to it, but they are all equally as long, so we'll see. I think it was a little too long. I think it could have cut down um, a couple hundred page pages and still uh, delivered the same um, intensity and the same story and the plot without ruining the, the book. But I gave it three and a half stars, so it's not like a favorite or anything, but it's better than the other books. And so what is my takeoff from this? It was successful in that I read three books from my TBR immediately in less than two weeks. <laughs> it was not super successful in types of books that I picked up. They were all very mediocre or dull. Um, so in that way it was a little bit less successful, but would I do it again? Possibly, probably. I think it was a, a good challenge. I definitely need to figure out a balance though, because I definitely felt that I am now so behind on my TBR, regular TBR, and all of my books on my TBR are apparently gazillion miles long, uh, pages long. Uh, we have Red Mars, which was 600 and something pages. I am currently reading Night Film, which is 600 and something pages and has 26 hours worth, worth of audio. And then I had a couple of duds <laughs> in my reading, but it's my third book that I finish of the month and I have the DNF as well. It's not been super successful, but 
I'm happy I did read these and uh, did try this out. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below if this is something you'd like to see me do in the future as well, in a similar style. I will be doing the regular TV unwrappings, obviously, um, but considering I still have quite a few on my TBR that I haven't read uh, from TV unwrappings, then I wanted to read a couple more before I do one of those type of videos. And this was a sort of way to add TV unwrappings to my reading. Um, anyway, this was everything I had for you today. Um, if you liked the video, I'm stuck this far. Thank you for watching. I will see you in another video very soon. Goodbye.